So we are doing a little bit different of a truck camp trip and do some backcountry stuff with my buddy's snowmobile. We still camped out in the copper lot. This is the far east lot. We're gonna go to Vail Pass, which is like right over there. Waking up in the morning, having some omelets here. And this little omelet maker. Having some coffee. Oh, There's Joe. There's Carlos. Omelets! Look at the view. Not bad. Good deal with that every day. Heck yeah. Listen to some music. Getting things ready. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous out. Pretty warm too in the sun. It's mid 30s I'd say. After a show with the snowmobile and having to tow it back, we got back to Copper and we're going to snowboard here tomorrow. We did not build a snow baffle box this time, but we got the generator going, having some beers, just hanging out. There's Brian! Hey! Yes! It's Carlos! We're just gonna chill on this trailer. Hey guys, so we got back from our truck camper trip last night and it is Sunday morning now and I'm just cleaning out the truck camper. I was going through my footage that I took on the trip and realized I didn't take uh, that many videos of the trip. So I wanted to do a quick little sum up video of our trip here. 
So we actually left on a Thursday night and we stayed at the Copper Mountain parking lot, the Far East lot, and woke up Friday morning and took the snowmobile out to Vail Pass. So it was my buddy Joe and Carlos, they were with me, and we were having a great day. It was really awesome. The conditions were pretty good and we had just found a really awesome spot. And Joe's snowmobile broke down unexpectedly. Uh, Joe said that he heard a metallic noise in the engine and then it just died and he couldn't pull start it he couldn't electric start it and it was just dead and where we were we were probably five to six miles out from where we had parked luckily there was some guys out there that were willing to help us so what we ended up doing is uh, these guys towed Joe back to where the truck uh, camper was and then Carlos and I hitchhiked a ride with this guy that had this super sweet razor set up that had tracks on it and uh, it was awesome but he took us up to this peak and then we snowboard slash hiked the five to six mile trail back so it took us a while to do that man it took us probably a good hour and a half and even loading the the snowmobile up on the trailer was quite the task too because the you know we couldn't get it started so that was uh that was pretty interesting um we then went back to Copper and grabbed some dinner there. Met up with one of our other buddies, Brian, and uh, we grabbed some dinner there at this Mexican restaurant and then just hung out at Mulligan's, which is a bar there. We played some foosball and had some beers there and stayed out a little too late. So uh, then on uh, Saturday, uh, we woke up late and um, we only got a few runs in on Saturday because Joe didn't have a pass. And so um, the snow conditions were, really weren't that good. It was extremely busy too. So we just did a, a few runs and then kind of called it a day and, uh, and headed back here uh, into town. So um, that was pretty much our trip. I mean, overall, it was still a really good trip. Um, the snowmobile broke down. Also, my, my balance here, uh, that fell. We hit a super hard bump on the drive home. And I think that's when that fell off. Uh, it kind of broke off, the screws came out, but I'm going to get that fixed and put back up and uh, we should be good to go in here. So one thing you guys might be wondering about is avalanches in the backcountry. Just to let you guys know, we're all very well versed in what to look for, you know, where we should be riding. We make sure that the snow conditions are good and that, you know, we're not going to be riding on stuff that's too dangerous or that has a very high avalanche risk. Uh, we also all wear these tracker avalanche beacons. So basically just uh, sends out a, a signal if you were to get caught in a slide and then the guys that are not in the slide can turn this on to search and uh, you go find your buddy. Once you locate your buddy, then you use this probe to poke around and find where exactly he is. And then you take your shovel and you go ahead and you, you dig him out. So we all have this stuff on us just in case any of us were to get caught in a slide, uh, we would be able to get our buddy out. So that's pretty much a sum up of our trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video here. We're going to be going on another pretty sweet trip here in a couple weeks, which I will definitely be uh, taking some videos on that. But thank you guys again for watching the video here today. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you later.